guys how are you all doing it has been a long time I am just so glad to be back I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving I know I did for sure I didn't expect to spend it with my family and I did I normally don't spend Thanksgiving with my family because I have to work the next day and they live like an hour away and my mom usually goes down there so it was just so nice to spend it with them and then we also went over to Cisco's family for a little bit so that you know we could spend time with both families and no one feels you know left out or anything like that so I have a pretty huge Dollar Tree haul today so I'm gonna try to go pretty fast so that it doesn't take forever and I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me. I cannot believe it's been a month. It has been so crazy. I've also been moving, hence the background. I have my Christmas tree back here. And I also told you guys about my new job, so I've been working a lot of hours. I'm not complaining because I'm so blessed to, you know, have a job in the first place. So. I love it. I love it. Everything is going as planned. I want to definitely do like a little tour of my place um, when it's all ready. It's not ready by any means. We still need to get like our couches because the ones that we have, they're, the ones that we have are kind of too bulky. So I, we need to get some ones that actually fit our living space so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this Dollar Tree haul and I'm so excited I haven't done this in so long I feel kind of like rusty if that makes sense so I'm gonna go through everything as quickly as I can so I got some wrapping paper this one has little owls on it look how cute that is I also got this one with the little stockings and they also have the candy canes and some berries, some cute little star ornaments. So adorable, it's a garland, if you can see. I got this one for the guys in the family. So I got, how many of these did I get? I think I got three of these. I might need more, I might need to go back. I also got this one for the guys. It's got little Christmas trees. I love Christmas, guys. It's seriously one of my favorite holidays. And then for the girls, I found this one. It's pink, and it says, ho, ho, ho. It's got a little heart, a snowflake, a peace sign, and then, of course, Santa Claus. How adorable is this? So I got four of these. I got some little lunch bags. I got this one, which is leopard. It's pink and leopard, and they're pretty roomy in here. This one's probably my favorite. I do like the owls too though. They're super adorable. And I picked up some cough drops. This one's extra strength with natural menthol. And they're in the glacier, glacier mint. So we always need those around the holidays. I picked up these super cute, um, like a trash can and a recycling can. And they have the little wheels. These are gonna be cute for my desk. That's my. That's why I picked these up. You could put um, your pens and pencils in these and I think that would look really cute. Or even like for storage. Alrighty. I got some air freshener and this one is in apple cinnamon this one smells like the holidays it smells really good and I also have one in cookies something cookies and it smells incredible I love it I think I already put it out though then I found these button stickers for your phone it's got purple pink red silver and gold and then I got this, which is a impression of Viva La Juicy. It's called Pink Dusk. And these guys would make amazing stocking stuffers. Let me know if you would like me to do like a stocking stuffer 
um, video because I am going to do one for Cisco, of course, and I want to do one for my dad and my mom. So these would make amazing little stocking stuffers. I picked up some cinnamon because I'm a huge fan of cinnamon. You guys know that already. That's kind of weird, huh? I like show you cinnamon everything. That's okay. I picked up this book. It's called Wedding Cake and it looked really cute and I thought it would match my decor in my room which is still at my mom's guys. I, a lot of this stuff is still there. I didn't bring everything over. I'm gonna probably get a, a tiny little vanity for our room here but a lot of this stuff is staying at my mom's because I just have a lot of stuff and it, it's just a one bedroom little apartment. So you could imagine how you know, crazy it would be if I brought everything over. Then I picked up a little like spray bottle and it's just pink. I needed this for when I do my hair. Cisco like takes a really long time in the bathroom and I need to like get going. I need to go to my jobs and he always takes super long. I got these Christmas trees and these are so adorable. They light up. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but this they do light up inside and it looks so pretty because it changes colors. Adorable. I think this one might have ran out of battery. Because I didn't know how to turn it off. It wouldn't just turn off. So, got those. And then I got some little Christmas lights. I got the one with the Christmas trees. You can see. And then I got these ones which are colorful. And I do have a little like makeup area here, so I'll be kind of decorating that. Got some headbands. This is in like a leopard, and it's got like this wire inside of it, so it's really easy to like kind of style. So that's why I picked these up. So you could use it as a head wrap, a pony wrap, or a bun wrap. I like the bun wrap. That's so cute because I normally do buns a lot, so that'll work out. So I got these two, and these would also make great stocking stuffers, of course. And then I got a lot of nail polish, oh, and then these I got for stocking stuffers too. Which uh, I'm sure you guys have seen these little mirrors, but they're kind of like the princess inspired ones. They look really cute for a dollar. So I got a couple so that I can use, you know, for stocking stuffers and, and whatnot. And then, you're not going to believe this, guys, but I finally found the Maybelline New York Color Show Nail Polishes. I couldn't even believe it. It just felt so unreal. So I picked this one up, which is called Purple Possibilities. I picked up this one, which has a ton of glitter. It's called... Ruby Refined. Picked up two of those because I love glitter. Sage Staple, which is like a olive green. Plush Plum, which is a, like a magenta, like a dark magenta color. And I got Ageless Olive. This one just looks like gray, but with like a tint of that olive green again. And then I picked up Alluring Rose, just like a gold. And then I got another Ruby, Ruby Defined, is that what it's called? No, it's called Ruby Refined. I picked some little stocking bags. I don't know if I want to do something for work or if I just want to use these for like a stocking in a stocking type of thing because I think these are great for little products like for nail polish you could even you know stick in the, the head wraps in here and make it look so cute so I got two of these which have the gold and then I got this one with a little snowman look at how cute that is I found this is like my favorite stuff from the Dollar Tree this is the peppermint bark bar but it's in white candy, like white chocolate, and it has the peppermint crunch. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this stuff. I always pick some up for the holidays because it's seriously my favorite. Alrighty, and then I got this 
book. It's called Then Again. It's a hard cover and it looks really interesting. And I'll read you why, because I always read like the inside of it and it said, Mom loved um, quotes, slogans. There were always little reminders po posted on the kitchen wall or pasted on the kitchen wall. For example, the word think. I found a think thumbtacked on a bulletin board in her dark room. I saw it sc scotch taped on a pencil box she'd collaged. I even found a pamphlet titled Think on her be bedside table. Mom liked to think. And I always do that too. I like to put little quotes and just things that kind of inspire me and motivate me. And it just, I thought this would be right up my alley, so I picked it up. And originally it retails for $26, which is unreal. Got it for a dollar. I picked up some little mugs. Um, we need, as you all know, since I moved, we need like, you know, kitchen and mugs and, you know, kitchen supplies. We need, we need it all. So I picked up some little mugs. I got the little polar bear. Santa Claus. I think these are from Walmart. I don't know. And the snowman. And what I like to do with these two for the holidays, just, you know, some ideas I like to throw out is like put some candy canes, a, um, like a hot cocoa um, pouch in here and some marshmallows and then just wrap it up really nice with a cute little bow and then you can give these away. I don't know. I like to do that, especially with people that don't receive as many gifts. I like to, you know, give stuff away. You guys know me. You guys know the drill. Okay, I also got this magnetic photo frame for our kitchen and um, we just need to go take the little pictures. I thought that was so cute. I got some boot socks. I was only able to find two. If not, I would have picked up more. They had other colors, but as you all know, I love pink with cute little like leggings or tights and this over peeking out of your Ugg boots. Oh my gosh, just too cute. And they're nice and thick too. These would also make great stocking stuffers. I also picked up some coffee themed things for my kitchen because that's kind of what I'm going for. So I found these and they're cutting boards. I picked up two and they're like glass. They're very nicely made. So I picked up those two and then I picked up these circles. So cute, right? So I got that. Then I got peanuts for Cisco because he loves the peanuts from the Dollar Tree. They're called Muncheros. This one's the Chili Lemon Peanuts. So I got two of those and then I had another one but as you can see he probably got into it because I only have this one. It's called Hot and Spicy Peanuts. And I always get him a bunch of those for um, Christmas. Like I'm gonna be making his stocking and he'll he'll have those in his little stocking. I picked up some bows. This one's just pink and this one is turquoise. Um, and I thought I'd get these for DIY projects. So as you all know, these are the two colors of my room. So those up and then I just got some head wraps came with this gorgeous like turquoise and then a black for working out or for when I'm just lounging around the house oh gosh I think we're doing pretty well and then I also picked up a shower cap these would also make great stocking stuffers and they had the leopard one. I'll take it out so you can see it's nice, durable quality. Um, there was one in there that was open already and that's what kind of made me want to get it. So it's a nice, durable quality, guys. Uh, it is too cute for words. I love it. I'll probably get some more of those. And then I have some more of these little perfume things. This one is Art Impression of 
Nicki Minaj and this one is called Nobility and these are all by the brand Preferred Fragrance and I really I really like that brand for like dupes and things I think they do a really good job this one here is called Our Impression of Tory Burch it's called Too Much so cute for stocking stuffers and then I also got this little bag which is kind of like quilted or you know inspired that way they had all different colors I got two in the pink I also saw that they had food coloring at the Dollar Tree these come in handy if you like to bake and they had the red the blue the green and the yellow so I got two packs because I thought for a dollar that's an amazing deal some little figurines from Disney and these are Christmas themed inspired they've got little Santa hats so I got Minnie Mouse and uh, Mickey Mouse and what I plan on doing is ornaments because I went to the I went to Walmart and the ornaments for like something like this is like eight dollars and I'm just like no let's go to the Dollar Tree I'm sure we'll find something so here she is with her little hat I think I'm just gonna stick a little ribbon and that way we can hang them on our Christmas tree because I'm not gonna pay eight dollars for a Disney ornament so here they are so cute then I also got some sprinkles from the Dollar Tree for my um, hot beverages I like to add a little bit of sprinkles and then from the 99 cent store I don't really have that much stuff but I thought I'd show you anyway I got some tea chamomile tea I love this stuff I actually have one back there you can see and Taco's birthday is right around the corner so these are his little presents mm. look at this adorable mug it says keep calm and carry on shopping that's just me in a nutshell um, a lot of these are little treats this uh, wrapping paper is from the Dollar Tree I just wrapped his little gifts up and um, yeah got some toys and a lot of little um, snacks for him oh, yeah from the 99 cent store I picked up the chamomile tea and then I also got this instant coffee because as you all know I love coffee I picked up some more of the just clean skin makeup removing cleansing cloths and as you all know I love these from the 99 cent store they're nice and moist they work perfectly I think they changed up their packaging a little bit but I'm sure they're the same okay and then I just got two ornaments from there voila how gorgeous are these ornaments they've got the bling the sparkles they're pink their hearts I mean does it get any better than that so that's what I got I also went to Black Friday shopping but the thing is I worked Black Friday but you know when I got off of work I think it was like six o'clock or something I was like I'm gonna go Black Friday shopping I was already exhausted as it was because we had you know traveled and, and it was just I had to work we didn't get home till like midnight and I was really exhausted because I had to wake up at 8 in the morning and go to work and everything um, well earlier than that because I have to leave pretty early because my job is around 45 minutes away um, so anyways what was I saying yeah I wanted to go Black Friday shopping I mainly wanted a Kate Spade purse I have been wanting a Kate Spade purse for as long as I can remember I think I told you guys that I wanted one I I got one actually I didn't get one I got two but I don't know if I'm gonna return one or if I'm gonna give one away I'm still deciding um, okay so the first one is this one it is it's just me it's just oh when I saw it I was just like I'm gonna get that one and there were 70% off which that's that's why I stood in line um, you guys would know this if you follow me on Instagram I'll link my Instagram down below because 
I told you guys that I was moving and everything on Instagram. I told you guys that I was Black Friday shopping because it's kind of like an instant thing. You just like kind of like post it on Instagram. So I'll link it below. I suggest you know you follow me and then we can like be friends and talk and everything. So here it is. It's so gorgeous. Look how beautiful it is. It is sequins like all around and it's got a cute little bow. And then down here it says like Kate Spade in like super tiny writing. Let me see if I can zoom this in. It says Kate Spade. Look at the sequence. And I love how it opens up too. It opens up really nice and wide. So I like that. So this is the first one that I picked up. And like I said, they were 70% off. Totally worth it. I mean, they might still have the sale going. I think online it said they had the sale going in, like until the weekend. But, you know, I might be wrong. And then I got this one which is pink and it's got like black little details like the handles are black and I just love it and it says Kate Spade and this one I thought I could use for work because I need like my little notebooks and things like I have a lot of phone numbers that I need to like if I need to contact a department or something I can just call and I have them all with me in a little note notebook oh my gosh I didn't even notice the inside of this has little bows oh my gosh can you see that I still have all the little yeah but I like this one because it had two like separate compartments and then the zipper compartment but look it has little bows oh too cute okay I think that's everything I think that is finally everything that I need to show you guys actually that's not it I had we went to not a flea market, it's more like a swap meet. We went to the swap meet because we were looking for like a vanity or like little like side table and things like that, but we weren't able to find any. Um, I'll show you what we did end up finding. And it's funny because I'm all about self-defense, guys. If somebody's attacking you, I think you should be prepared and be ready to attack right back because nobody should be attacking you in the first place. So. I'll show you guys what my boyfriend got me because he's all into the self-defense. He got a huge knife um, for really inexpensive at the swap meet. And I think he said it retails for like $400 online. So he was like stoked. I think he paid like $20. And then um, he bought me a pepper spray. So here is the pepper spray. It's blinked out of course because you guys know me. Um, it's maximum strength. You can, you know, you can spray this like 12 feet away. It's used by law enforcement. Um, I just thought it was so cute. Can you see the sparkles and it's pink? I'm gonna put this on my keychain. It's so cute. So he got me this. And then he also got me, what is this called? Oh, this is a flashlight, but it's also a weapon. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of afraid of this. So here it is, it's pink with rhinestones, of course. So. I don't even know how to use it, but it's a flashlight, but you can also attack somebody with this. Um, like hurt somebody. And I'm not the one to hurt anybody, but if somebody is attacking me, I'm going to do it because it's self-defense. So I got this as well. And it's got like a little charger, I think this is what it is. A little charger. So if you're walking the dog by yourself, you know, you, and, and you know at night, you could carry this with you. It's like a little flashlight. And if somebody tries to take advantage of you, like you've got yourself a weapon in a flashlight. So I think it's genius. I'm all for self-defense.
Alrighty guys, so that's basically all that I have for you guys today. I'm so glad to be back. I am going to try my best to film as much as I can in the month of December because I actually have internet now. That was another thing that I forgot to mention. The whole moving process, I didn't have any internet, so I apologize for the lack of videos, but I am so pumped to put out as much as I can right now after this video I'm gonna like quickly edit and upload it for you guys and then I'm gonna go to the thrift store and I'm gonna bring you guys along because you guys are amazing I have to get a ugly Christmas sweater for work and a couple other things so I'm so excited to bring you guys along I'm so glad to be back it just feels really good and I will talk to you guys later don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post when I'm if I'm ever absent, I'll be posting on there. And I love you guys. Bye.